went over, ladies and gentlemen, was r f of x equals 1 over x, which was the reciprocal function, right? It looks something like this. Yes? C. OK. So well, you guys remember, with every single function that I gave you, I gave you guys a parent graph, and then I gave you a way how to transform it, right? Because that's the simply, Ashley, when you understand the parent graph and you know what the transformations are, it's pretty basic to understand what you need to do. You just need to take your parent graph and then transform it whatever you have, right? So this function we could also write as a times 1 over x minus h plus k. Now, you guys have noticed this from all the functions that we've talked about. Our a is going to be doing the exact same thing. Our a is going to help us um, flip right, over the x-axis. It's also going to help us dilate, stretch and compress um, our function. And then our h is going to shift the graph left or right. And k is going to shift the graph up or down. Now remember, we noticed that when having this equation, we automatically have our asymptotes at x equals 0 and x equals y. And the domain and range is going to be all real numbers except x cannot equal 0 and y cannot equal 0. All right? So that's just your basic transformation. We're going to use this now to help us try to graph some of these problems. All right? So I'll just give you guys like one example to do this. And then I'll give you guys some, uh, some practice work. And then I'll give you your homework.